Assalamu alaikum, everyone. This is Muhi Khwaja at American Muslim Community Foundation. And today on the Five Fast Minutes Muslim Philanthropy Podcast, we have on a special guest, Elena Maloney, who is the Executive Director of the New Star Family Justice Center. Welcome to the show, Elena. Thank you, Brother Muhi. Uh, Ramadan Karim to you and to all the Muslims around the world. Ramadan Mubarak. We're so excited to have you on and learn more about the New Star Family Justice Center. Uh, if you had two minutes to share more about your organization, what would you like people to know? Yes, well, the New Star Family Justice Center is a domestic violence agency that was born at a time when domestic violence in the Muslim community was not recognized and talking about it was taboo. So about 15 years ago, with the help of a women's group, we conducted a community survey of about 40 uh, local mosques in Southern California and asked the simple question, do you address domestic violence in your congregation? Well, the results of that survey uh, would be etched in my mind forever. So two mosques replied that they address domestic violence in their khutbah once a year a handful, about uh, five or six, replied that they would conduct a presentation on the subject if requested, and all others replied that they do not discuss the subject at all. So what is domestic violence? Wow. It is, yeah. It is a pattern of abusive behavior by a current or former spouse in an effort to gain and maintain power and control. And those are the key words power and control. This includes any behavior that may frighten, intimidate, terrorize, blame, hurt, humiliate, you mentioned. The victims are mostly women and children, and these are the, these are the clients that we see every day. Uh, the, statics, the statistics are one in five women will experience domestic violence in her lifetime. Sadly, very sadly, this is true in our Muslim community as well. So our goal here at the Nusa Family Justice Center is to rebuild the shattered lives of better women from being victims to becoming survivors and thriving. It is not unusual for us to pick up a woman around the corner who has been rendered homeless from the abuse and from having her life threatened. So she is now homeless. So our domestic violence services address first and foremost safety concerns. So what we do is we adv advocate for her legal rights by helping her file a restraining order if needed and by providing uh, court advocates so that she's not alone in the process. Uh, we advocate on her behalf with law enforcement, which definitely would be involved, Department, Ch Department of Children and Family Services, who may be involved and many other entities. And this is to help make sure that she has the best possible outcome for this difficult situation. Yeah. We address, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say it is such critical work um, and I really applaud you and the new Family Justice Center team uh, for all the critical work that you do because I know, you know, I have a mom, I have a sister, I have nieces, um, and I want them to feel like they have a place to turn to should anything ever happen. Um, so yeah. in, I, I so know I, you, I, I know you have a lot to share, but with the five minutes, we want to stick mm -hmm. to the time as well. Um, mm -hmm. So for your donors and supporters who help New Star Family Justice Center, if you had a minute to thank them, what would you like to say? Thank you for partnering with us in restoring the lives of those families who have experienced abuse. Serving victims of domestic violence is challenging work that no one entity can do on their own. So your generous donation would help us to continue to provide hope and healing to our clients and their children as they, as they rebuild their lives. And by supporting our work, you're sending them a message that they are not alone and people in the Muslim community care. That's really important. Um, in terms of the partnership with American Muslim Community Foundation, what would you like to say in a word or sentence? One of a kind. <laughs> I'd like to say that pulling the power of philanthropy for the greater good is a powerful Quranic concept that is put into action by AMCF. 
Thank you for that. Um, and our favorite question is to ask our guests what three charities that they personally give their sadaqa or zakat to, um, or you can share partners for New Star Family Justice Center as well. Well, they're wonderful. Um, uh, 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 I'm sorry, organization in our community. Um, one that we um, support is Muslim Advocates because they do tremendous work on a national level in the U.S. court system, you know, to address discrimination for our community. Uh, we support Uplift for the tremendous work they do on a local level, as you know, in Southern California. They are entrusted with zakat money for our community. And we also support the Uma Community Clinic uh, for the tremendous work that they do in the healthcare field. As you know, just a handful, you know, Muslim students, you know, put into motion the simple vision of providing healthcare, regardless of ability to pay. So, and of course, there are many more as well, but these are our favorite ones. Yeah, definitely. I love all of those organizations and you can learn more about them in AMCF's nonprofit directory on our website. Um, everybody can find out more about New Star Family Justice Center at nsfjc.org and find them on Instagram at New Star FJC. Um, Elena, thank you so much for being on the show and I hope more people will learn more about your critical work. Thank you, Brother Muhi, for, for the opportunity to give us our visibility on the AMCF platform. Of course. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. Take care. Bye.